Good morning. Oh, lovely morning. Here Wednesday, the 11th August 2010. Uh, England. Staffordshire. Belay the Barrig. I used to know this old Russian gentleman who had lost his wife and son in the purges. And he gave me this phrase. I learnt a little bit of Russian once. Ruskaya Dusha, Russian soul. And I just found this. So, there we are. The pictures are good too. I was training to be a medical doctor in the Bristol University in 1976, and the two Gulag books by I believe it should be Solzhenitsyn, but Solzhenitsyn, we say in the West, came out and so on about the Gulag archipelago. My understanding is that from 1917, the Russian Revolution, and so on, right the way through to whenever, 1970s, 80s even possibly, I don't know, even up to Perestroika in 90 or whenever it was. The figure is somewhere in the region of 350 million Russian souls died, were killed, one way or another. Mm. On the Eastern Front, something like 20 million died, I believe. During the Second World War. Many more than in the West. And the Holocaust. I had this thing about going to Russia. God doesn't want me to for some reason, I can't work out why. I tried twice. I was in Warsaw. I'd come from Assisi the second time round. The first time round it just wasn't right. But I'm in a terminal soul, so I've been to Assisi for St. Francis of Assisi, whom I love, in Umbria, in Italy. Pace, bene. Peace and goodwill, that's what he would say, St. Francis. So I got to Warsaw. On the train, bought my ticket to Moscow, but I old train ticket, I like love trains, I wanted to go by land. When Napoleon took on Moscow, he lost because of the distance and the, the winter killed him. If you wanted to get out of Russia, you fed your horse. Human beings can do without food. We can survive an awfully long time without food, but horses can't. And you've never got a horse, you die. So you fed your horse. Oh, such suffering in this world. Where to start? Beautiful voice, this man, isn't he? Very pure tone. He's uh, looks Mongolian, or you know, not uh, sort of Kazakh, something. There's a picture of an old man carrying two pails of water. He goes to the snowing and he goes out to the outpipe because he hasn't got water at home, of course. And a little child in a pram. Wobbly little wheels. I love my old peasants. I was in Armenia too. They've suffered. This old lady her work, she was all wrapped up, it was minus 20, okay, it was just a solid block of ice. Um, Yerevan, I went, is the capital. Um, I'm just trying to think of, it's this lake, I can't just think of it at the moment. It'll come to me. Anyway, I love you, my lord. She was wrapped up, okay, and her job was selling little bits of pistachio nuts or something. <laughs> 